Yeah, that was pretty good. That was okay, but I'm pretty sure mine's gonna knock yours out of the box. <laughs> you ever wonder how the folks at Cirque du Soleil train? Well, me too. And when I found out, I thought to myself, now that's hashtag hot. <laughs> it's called teeterboarding, and you gotta see this to believe it. I'm telling you, two I words. I like two it, words. Shantae. Two words, jockstrap. I hope that's in the box. Yeah, you did. We're one. Here well, we go. I loved, I'm loving that's... the fact that he's staying in character. I love it. Can you tell us a little bit about the reactions of the people that you saw once they were getting off the plane? Oh, my heavens. You... Thanks, Jillian, and good morning, dear Sunrisers. Today we have a very, very special guest, NBA player and Starkville hometown boy, Travis Outlaw is joining us today to talk about his upcoming Community Day in Starkville and to dish on the latest of his NBA career. How you doing? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy you got up, you know, at these ungodly hours to come and be with us here on Sunrise. But do you think that the unity of all these leaders who've never shook hands before, have never agreed, you know, to sit across the table from each other, what do you think that this message is to the world uh, that this is happening now in South Isn't Africa? It's true that we can all mm -hmm. look at our differences. We you being in the spotlight, you doing pageants and things like that, you were exposed to this kind of level of perfection. Yeah. How, what does it feel like? It's almost like false advertisement. You, they see you in the magazines and you're posing pretty and you're looking flawless and they see you in person and then they'll politely say, oh, well, you look different in person. <laughs> so <laughs> then that, <laughs> you know, that hurts. I know that's funny. That hurts my feelings, you know, but I think that there needs to be more responsibility on behalf of the media. Yep. Stop selling false advertisement and unobtainable beauty. We have got to be happy within ourselves. I actually have a shopper with me that's been here for 24 hours her name is Monica the Mannequin. All right. Monica, how long have you been here? Oh, I see you brought a friend with you, right? What's her name? Melissa the Muter? <laughs> I'm just kidding, folks. I'm just kidding. We're having fun on Black Friday. People said the wipers movement would distract the driver. Ten years later, they were standard equipment in cars. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for her, though. I huh? do, too. It's like, like because man, you would, out. honestly, you can't even drive a car off a lot no. if it doesn't have a windshield wiper. Yeah. And here she is, probably rolling over in her grave, saying, <laughs> <laughs> I told you so. I told you so. <laughs> it's Early two years after the bombs detonated near the finish line of the Boston Marathon, the trial for the man accused of helping to plan and execute the attack begins today. Welcome back, Sunrisers. It's 623, and are we ready to get our Hollywood hot list on? As always. All righty. Okay, we got some juicy things going on. Suge Knight appeared in court for a discovery hearing Monday. Welcome back, Sunrisers. Okay, we are continuing our New Year, New You series, and today we're tackling one of the hardest resolutions that everybody, including myself, is having trouble with. That is keeping a healthy fitness routine. And again. I'm loving it, guys. <laughs> Those melodies may sound like a typical song you'd hear on the radio, but in fact, those sounds are being used as a way to help kids become better students. The Delta State University Music Lab bus is designed to teach the art of music production. Administrators are confident this will help them with their studies. Uh, because so many times that our kids only feel like music is rapping or singing, but there's so much more that goes along with music. And again, with the educational part, it deals with the STEM, and that is science, technology, engineering, and math. So again, it all goes hand in hand. And not Studies show that musical arts also help students improve overall test-taking skills. Songs, and we'll write songs and do music with songs, um, coming straight from their textbooks. And it's, it's proven to work, and students have better grades and the teaching methods seem to be working. It helped me with memory, because you have to remember what you practiced and what you played in order to have the same beat. Music comes from the Greek word muse, which means to inspire. For the teachers and students of Pickens County High, using music to inspire the mind is a sweet combination. But not everyone will be getting into the action of making music. I will not. <laughs> I will leave that to our children. Okay. I'm Shantae Hinton for WCBI News. Here for Black Friday. She's going to hit me again because I need to cover up these bags. I've been up so early, I don't even know what my name is. What's my name? Hit me again. 